What's up guys, Pixel Sammy here and in this video I'm going to show you how to do the smooth transition effect which Sam Colder used in his latest video which is the DJ Mavic Care video. Okay so before going to the tutorial, first see the video. And as you can see it is a pretty awesome and pretty smooth transition and the point of this transition is that you never know that this transition actually happened. It looks so smooth and so natural. And this transition was brought to my notice by Andrew James and he made a tutorial on YouTube in After Effects on how to do this transition and today I am going to show you how to do this effect on Final Cut Pro. If you are in After Effects you can visit his channel and if you are in Final Cut you can visit my channel. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so usually I always go to the tutorial after the intro, but for this video, I'm going to explain what actually happens in this video. So you need to plan what you're actually shooting because you need to actually think that you need to pass the drone onto the forest and to the open area, otherwise it will not look good. And then you need to keep in mind that the skies of both the places in the transition should look same in the original footage or you can make them the same in the post processing. Okay, so that is pretty much it for the explaining part and let's jump right into the tutorial part. Okay, so in Final Cut Pro, this is the footage which Sam Colder used. And as you can see, it is a very smooth transition. And if we go frame by frame, this is the portion which you use the masking tool on. So I am going to use this clip only because I don't have any stock footage right now. So I am going to cut this portion and so this is the footage which I will be using. Now I am going to add a keyframe to the position and the scale. And at the end of the first clip I am going to add another keyframe to both the scale and the position to zoom in. The reason I am zooming in because I don't have a stock footage like this and I am zooming in to make that zoom in effect which the original footage has. But you must know that in your footage you don't need to do this. If you have a drone that is actually going towards the subject, this will work just fine. I am zooming it just because I have clipped the, that portion which was the original zoom in portion. Now exactly mark the portion where you want to use the masking tool on. As I was zoomed in, you can see that there is a very distant transition between the first frame and the second frame. Okay, so I am going to use this portion. But before this, I am going to lift them from the storyline. Place a marker there by clicking M. And then bring the second clip below the first clip. And what you can do is cut this portion where you place the marker. Actually, I should have placed the marker a bit on the right hand side. And then on this clip, I am going to place the Lima key here. And click on invert on the effects panel. And bring the top part of the Lima and change it as per the needs and in such a way that it can mask properly. Now as this footage is downloaded, you can see that there are some white edges. That is because it is downloaded and it is not in the highest quality possible. But if it is in the highest quality, then the software will get more time and more data to work and then the masking will be much more better. And it is practically almost done. But you can see that the transition is not that smooth. So I am going to add in another transition between the first clip. But before that I am going to increase the scale of the second clip because of the later boss effect on the second clip. And then from in the transition panel I am going to use cross dissolve and place it on the portion where I have cut the clips. And just to give a smooth transition effect. And it is practically done. Just remember you not to remove the white edges. Use footages as high quality as possible and play with the Luma settings. Making it a compound clip to show you guys. And I'm slowing it down because it is a bit too fast. Now this is how it looks. 
I know it is still a bit fast but it is in 24 fps and if I slow it down further then it will not look good. But mind it if you want to make a video like this you need a footage as high quality as possible possibly in 4k if possible. If you have log profile available in your camera then you can use that also. The software will get much more data to work on and the keyer will work just better than before. This is practically how you do it by placing the marker, by placing Luma Kia, playing with the Luma settings and all the settings on that FX panel and then compounding the clip, adding some specific color gradient and all. So that is pretty much it. Thank you for watching guys. Hope you liked the video. If you are into photography, cinematography and filmmaking, then I make regular tutorials, tips and tricks and other stuff on that. So if you are into it, please consider subscribing and press the red button and the bell button. And with that being said, this is Pixel Sammy signing out. Peace out.